Yo, what's going on? Oh, I need to scooch over. Scoot, need to scoot, scoot, over. scoot a bit, scoot a bit. All right. Didn't even frame ourselves. I feel so over, over on the side. Yeah, no, that seat feels really weird. over. Super yeah. weird. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, gamers, gamers and, and goons. goons? We How's are here hanging? today. Pre-game show for the Valorant game. Uh, we wanted to boom, come boom, out boom. today. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, sir. Way ho. I was I said, boom, to be boom, boom, boom. Everybody said, you know, you know the video? Yeah, yeah. Good video. Uh, we wanted to come out today and get you guys prepared, mentally ready, mentally other things to be ready to play the Red Bull Campus Clutch. Yes. And so I'm we're going to we're going to walk through Valorant the game. We're going to get you ready to play, hyped up, energetic, ready to go. We're going to show you the ins and outs, everything you need to know. I am a radiant Valorant player. Yeah. I'm a mortal. Zach is three. only an immortal, I'm so only immortal he'll get three. there. Kind, kind of sad. Uh, but we're gonna walk you through everything you guys need to know about how to get this going. Uh, yes, uh, there will be a delay when the match. So there's starts. not a delay right now. Right um, now we're good though. Because we're we're basically like right when the game's about to start, we'll we'll cut, hit three minutes, delay, and then be back in for you guys. Um, we figured since we're gonna be like just goofing around, we don't need a delay, and then we'll put one on when we have to. Um, kind of be geeking it sucks. if we had delay. We hate now. the delay, yeah. but delay's poo poo. We wanna we wanna stay legal. Um, would rather Hopefully not be Valorant out. puts it in game like they do with League, yeah. and then we can stay at like live with you guys. That's like such a good feature. So. It is. I love but it. this is the Valorant Learn to Play Valorant pregame show. Um, so we're just gonna walk you guys through the. That was my audio. Why'd you was turn it me yours? down? I thought that was me. That was definitely me. You're the two because I'm okay. like on this yeah, side and you're okay, on that side. Sure. So. Oh, Seth yeah. Geekin for Seth some Red Bull. a little Red Bull. We gotta get the Valorant team cracked for tonight. Of course, of uh, course. We do have a game at 7 p.m., so stick around. Yes, sir. Um, but we're just gonna walk you guys through the basics of Valorant. If you've sure. never paid attention, you don't know what's going on, you want to, you want to kind of get get to it. Mm -hmm. um, we're just gonna walk you guys through the tutorial, some basic stuff you'll need to know, and then how to get signed up. So um, short gonna, little 25 minute stream, just to do the easy, very, easy. very, very absolute basics. basics. You will be a pro by the time we're done, though. Of so, course. Yeah. We're gonna kick over to this. Yes. All right. So, so this. This we is just the practice tool. Uh, we're basically going to walk you guys through it. Um, if you want to turn that down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, so we're just going to walk you through basically. We'll keep it up. We'll turn it down. Just the general stuff. So these are all the, the agents. Yes, um, there's a lot. So there are. There's really an agent for everybody is what I'll say. True. Right off the rip. Um, so there's five categories <laughs> of agents. You uh -huh. have duelists, which is like for our team is usually like Seth. He basically goes in and just tries to get a kill or tries to get a bunch of kills. That's literally his whole job is just first one in like and try frag. and kill as many people as he can before he it's dies. An entry frag. Yeah. Um, the next position you have is an initiator. So initiators' jobs are to um, get information, figure out who's on a site, figure out how to push in on a site. Um, they initiate the progress yes. kind of thing, you know. Um, so that's like Shyrock is one of our initiators for mm -hmm. the team consistently. So is Corey. Um, the next position you have is a controller. So controllers are, uh, um, they control visuals and sight. So um, smoking off a site to where the other team can't see or kind of controlling their own site to where other people won't push in. Um, so that's the controller position. Um, then you have the sentinels. And so sentinels are like the super duper defensive lockdown. Like I can sit on a site and, and, and maintain it by myself the whole time. Um, and so um, you'll usually see baked as our sentinel. Um, but again, all of our positions kind of fluctuate, but, um, for you and your friends trying to get a team going, um, the best way to do it is to group the players and then each of you figures out like one category you want to play. And then you just kind of stick with those champions, um, or those agents. And that way you know where you're going. <laughs> Seem to sports cannot be held accountable That's for true. possible false statements made by Raleigh, Zach, or other commentators such as promise of dubs, losses, or supernaturally earned gaming skills. That's, that's... That's a good that's one. That's pretty a good accurate. One. Yeah. I like that. That's a good spam. So that was definitely. Um, uh, so we're just gonna <laughs> click in, and we're just gonna show you guys the basics. This game is super duper similar to CS:GO. Um, mechanically, the same thing. Basically, this is CS:GO with abilities. So CS:GO and Overwatch. If you yeah, if you think of Overwatch abilities and CS:GO gameplay, yeah, you're, you're, you're there. Set. That's easy peasy. Um, we are gonna. Nope, that doesn't turn that off. We are well, gonna let's have. Let's turn down. It's yeah, which is gonna. Well, it's loud to me. Then I'll turn it up here. Yeah, yeah, then... yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, baby. That's All nice. Right. All right. So we're going to hop in. Um, Zach's just going to grab an agent. Let's so we're going to grab Jet. So Means at the close. bottom, you have your keys. You can remap the keys if you really want to. Mine are different. Um, Mine are different. I'll let that be known now. Ooh, No, they're not. Are they oh, not? Z, you have Z instead of X. Yeah. So that's the only difference. Yeah. But... Um, I believe X is my knife. Basically, yeah. um, you have all these different abilities. Each character has their own. If you want to learn what the abilities are, you just hit F1, and then it'll give you 
Um, a, the price of the abilities, and then B, what the ability does. Um, you always get one ability for free, and so that's usually your E ability. Yes. That's like your signature ability, I think they call it. Um, that is your free ability. You don't have to buy it every round. Um, so each, each agent is different. So the biggest thing about this game is it's obviously it's 5v5. Um, you either have to um, eliminate the other other team before time runs out, or you have to plant the bomb, and the bomb has to explode. Yes. Um, and so each round, you start off with X amount of money. You get money for kills. You get money for planting. You get money for assists. Um, and then if you win the round or lose the round, you also get money based on that. So this is the buy shop. You can press B to buy. That makes sense. Keep it in your head. Um, it's, it's sectioned off. So here you have your pistols. Hey, Grilled Bacon, thanks so much for the host. Appreciate the host. But basically, here's going to be your sidearms so for your pistols. You always have one of these and then one from this category. So you start off with the classic. You yes. will always have the classic um, no it's matter what. It's free. You can... Free low. So I don't know how to drop stuff. There. G is drop. Yeah. It's so, so you see it's free. You can always get it no matter yep. what. So each so the first round you basically start with the least amount of money, and then every round you move up, you have money. Can you um, ADS? You can. Not with this gun though. So not Most every guns you can. not every gun. So uh, the guns that have ADS would be the Stinger, the Spectre, the mm. Bulldog, the Guardian, the Phantom, the Vandal. Actually, basically everything besides everything, the shotguns and the sidearms can ADS. Yeah, most pistols and then pretty much all of... No, no pistols can. I, was, uh, I was say most. I mean, none of the pistols. None of the pistols. And then most of these. Everything That's except the say. shotguns can, can ADS. So you yeah. can ADS. Most time you don't want to. Yep. Though, so well in this game, similar to CSGO, um, you're punished for ADSing. So your, um, your, your ADS time will delay you as well as your accuracy ADS changes. ADS is aim down sights. Yeah. So it's like doing this. Yep. So in this game, it's really imperative that you don't do that. Um, even if your aim is is worse, it's still better to not do it because your the the speed that your gun shoots at as well um, is affected. So like if you click buy, you can see over on the right side it'll give you the the like the stats per gun. So like mm -hmm. the fire rate, um, but then it'll also tell you like if you aim down sights, it'll like lower the fire rate or it'll make it burst fire so like the bulldog and the stinger are both burst fire so um when you aim down sights and so that that is one of the guns you will maybe aim down sights on but um basically you just want to get comfortable with the guns um so most of the time you'll play one or two rounds as a pistol round so you'll have those early guns um and then once you start accruing enough money to where you can consistently have it that's when you will full buy um and so full buying um, is when basically you have your heavy shields. So over here you have your armor plates you can buy. So you can buy which, light armor, which is 25. Um, 25 shield. As you can see, it absorbs 66% of the yeah, damage so, you'd get. Yeah, so, so down here in the bottom, you can see, um, you have your health bar. So that's 100 is your health, and then the 50 is the shield. So 50 is max shield, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and so you can light buy and go light armor, or you can full buy and go full armor. Full armor costs 1,000. Um, and so basically... The way the best way I was taught to get it in my head is every character needs about forty five hundred dollars to full buy. Yes. So that's a thousand dollars for armor, that's twenty nine hundred for a phantom or a vandal, and then that's like mostly enough money for your abilities, right? Mm -hmm. Um and so if you look over here on oh, go back to the buy screen for me. So on the buy screen, how it has your character, when you're with a team, it'll have all of your teammates and stuff. You can see their money. Um, and then it says minimal next round. That number is super important to where like, it's like, oh, we can't spend our money this round. So what we have enough for next round. And so that's the number you're always going to want to pay attention to um, in between rounds, stuff like that. So the Phantom and the Vandal are what's considered premium rifles. They're better rifles at the end of the day that do more damage. Mm -hmm. Something like the Guardian and the Bulldog are more budget options. Yep. They do less damage. Their fire rate's about the same or a little bit lower, lower by the looks of it. Yep. And it's going to do less damage. They're more for like eco rounds or like half buys. Yep. But also at the end of the day, you'll probably just want to buy a stinger anyways. Mm, not anymore. Not anymore? Stinger, no, they, they finally, they finally, finally nerfed, nerfed it. It. It, is not, it is not just broken. Okay, that's good. So um, that is how you buy guns, how you, you know, maintain your economy. So the most important thing is for you guys in this tournament is you want to make sure that you're you're matching your teammates on what you guys are spending. So like... If all of your team can't buy guns, then you should probably Here. save to make hey. sure that the rest of your team can. Uh, you build like this. That, that, that's how you build, Jack. Oh, that's how you build. Yeah, okay, that, that's cool, how you cool, build, cool. Yeah, yeah, this is Fortnite, actually. I don't know if yeah. you guys knew that. It's just a Fortnite mod. Um, and so, like we said, each character has different abilities. And so we're actually going to go to the next tutorial part, which is 
talking about the spike plant. I don't think you have to go. Yes, I think go this shoot. So that's just a, so there's a practice range where you can work on the guns. You can shoot little robots, uh, um, and then you can go, go here. Yeah, yeah. So this is this this is the spike defusal. So why do they start you on defusal before? I don't know. So this is Zach buying all this stuff. Yes, I was gonna buy pretty much everything. Little vandal action. Zach doesn't have any skins. No, sadly. So basically, the goal is you're gonna want to take out everyone. Hold up. Zach's DPI is on like four right now. And then at the end, you have to defuse this. This is the goal. The so goal that's is to that's plant the, spike. the spike. Um, if you look at the map. Where's our map? Where's your map? So on the maps in game, the yellow sc the yellow space um, will be where you're allowed to plant the bomb, and mm -hmm. so um, you, it's a so seven second it bomb plant and a seven second bomb defuse. Yes. Or no, I think it's a three second bomb plant, but it's it's longer to defuse. Mm -hmm. Each each section of that defusal is three and a half seconds, I think. Um, is there another place I can go for. There should be if you go over left. Left. Um, is there another portal? Maybe not. This is me just spamming jet abilities. You normally can't do this. Yeah, you only get as many as the the touch bar at the bottom does. So, um, let's let's put Zach in a uh yeah, like, like a death match. A DM. Just, we're gonna yeah. I, I was gonna go to the spike plant part. Oh yeah, you can play spike rush. You can. I oh, know. I was just gonna go to. You can go here and then you can go to the. Or, oh yeah, do do spike plant then yeah. for sure. Um, just to get all right, chat. Going. What kind of questions do we have so far? How, Who doesn't how, understand how, what? Yeah, how comfortable are you and in, in, in ready to play in the Valorant so, Rebel tournament? The thing that you're going to want to figure out before the tournament is figuring out what kind of character you want to play and then figuring out one of them. That's all you really need. You like only maybe, need one. You only need one. So, like, it's I'm all pretty Seth, comfortable All Seth plays is Jet. He's <laughs> busy. Sure. I'm pretty comfortable on Jet, so that's normally who I go with. Because uh, Zach said, is there another agent besides Jet? Yeah, actually, there are. No, it's, there's, like, a don't ton. So. I don't... F2. F2. Oh, that nope. no, is not it. It is normally. F3. I, I already F3 selected. Changed. That's like settings. Oh. All right. Well, you already selected an agent, but there are more agents than Jet. I know that's, uh, that's hard false. to believe. It's false. Jet is my waifu. We oh, know. We, we, we looked at your uh, Discord. We, we did see your Discord. Set. Make sure to set your sense. You can also re you can also custom build your crosshair. Um, so spend some time doing that. You can also type in the number up. there oh, if, if you want to. Uh, that's high. You can type that number in if you Yeah, if but you I don't know what I want. That it. works for now. Uh, she's a fictional character. She will never love you back. I'm dead. Yeah, so grab the buy, Vandal. We're just gonna buy everything. Vandal. There we go. In my, so, if you've played CSGO, the Vandal is essentially the AK, and the Phantom's the M4. In case that the makes Phantom sense is to you. the gun that shoots a lot of bullets, and the Vandal is the one that shoots less bullets, but it hits harder. It's definitely more powerful. So, learning all of your abilities is gonna be huge. I have no idea where these bots spawn. It's a good thing. The book. Yeah. So when you're able to plant, if you're carrying the spike and you're able to plant it, it'll pop up and tell you that you can plant. It wants you to plant on that big yeah. green X. There you go. I was going to add to defeat another. I think on the map it'll show you too. Um, nope. Still there's so not weird. to defend the map bomb. Map stinks. So they're going to have people push. You can hear footsteps. That's going to be like one of the biggest parts of this game that you want to learn. Dude, you're so good, bro. Dude, yeah, I'm cracked. Cracked at the crack. Um, so on the map, which we don't have, uh, but when you're in game on the map, Here. when you're walking or running, there will be a big circle. That is the circle that other people can hear you in. So mm -hmm. if they are in that circle, they will hear you running or or um or like any noise that you make. Yeah. Um, so crouch like slow walking is a big mechanic of this game. That way, other people don't oh. hear you. Oh, I could just walk through, apparently. That's how you get there. So, like, here I can get... This is where the, uh... Oh. The fuse is. And there if you I go. just walked, we found planting. Can you show me how to crank 90s? Um, yeah. So, first off, here's going off. Dang, though. Those are sick 90s. And then you edit on a kid and you shoot him. That's nice, so nice, that's nice. Yeah. So, uh, planting the spike on site, then <laughs> defending it, shooting all the other people... How does one run faster with a weapon if they had a big gun? So, if you pull out your knife... Your knife is how you run faster. Huh? You do. Do you not set up your own? Oh, I, I have two more in my backpack. All right, I'm going to talk for a minute while Raleigh does that. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, essentially, guys, movement speed is a big thing in this game. So, just like in CSGO. So, oh, hi, Corey. Are you going to come join? Corey, what is, like, the biggest tip that you can give to an early player of the game? 
Uh, crosshair placement. Crosshair placement's huge. Crosshair placement. You do is not the want to be thing. looking at the ground because no. if you're looking at the ground, you have to move way more to get to the enemy. If I'm peeking this corner, I want to have it like where I'm gonna fire. So like, I, I think that's the basic best way. Inflation. Like an easy way to adjust your crosshair also is you can see your teammates through the walls. It'll be like a little silhouette. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, aim your crosshair at your teammate's head. Knowing and where that's it's gonna be, be the same yeah. level as the enemy head. You know. So it's like I know that like I want to there's like a common spot so instead of you know looking here I should be peeking more like that swinging your crosshair more I guess yeah I, I definitely agree with that yeah. also hi everyone that's calling out my hello. name hello hi McKenzie cameo mystic <laughs> cameo mystic <laughs> <laughs> yeah so crosshair placement what else it's like you know you're a high level player what, what, what do you think helped you the most whenever you start playing uh honestly watching pros play Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. I uh, oh, th 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 thank thank you. First okay. time. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's your first uh, time. Yeah, on yeah. The for, for first time here. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Um, but no, crosshair placement is the biggest thing I'd say. Second is knowing your like your abilities and when to use them yeah. because you don't want to get caught out using an ability. You don't want like if if you know, for example, if there was someone around that corner and you. Well, okay, Jet's kind of a bad example, right? Yeah, here. no. But no. say for instance you were Silva and you had to pop an arrow, you don't, you don't want to be, be caught out with that arrow out. You know what yeah. I mean? It, so it's like if I'm about to pull this core, I know someone's here. I'm not gonna pull this out because that's an animation. Yeah. So like you don't want to be stuck in an animation when someone's peeking you and they're going to, about to shoot you. You want to be ready at all times, type thing. If your rifle is out of ammo in a tight spot, it's better to reload your rifle or switch to a pistol. Yeah. That was a question. Oh. It's probably better to switch. It is to your better pistol. to switch. Yeah, it is faster to switch. Because if you reload, I'm on infinite ammo. You but reloading takes it. like everything it tells you. Real time's two and a half seconds, but to pull this out, like a second maybe. Yeah, a second maybe. Not I think even. it has a pullout time. Uh, I'm not sure. Equip speed half the time. Yeah. So it's definitely more worth it, because nine times out of ten, also if you're out of ammo, it's probably because you were just shooting the guy. So he's probably damaged. You're only gonna need a bullet or two to yeah. kill him. Yeah. Corey looking cute there, but where's ba my baked hat? <laughs> <laughs> baked will be on the stream later, don't you worry. I like how this is literally the setup for, um, for Ascent. Yeah, that's the point. But this was the training. Ascent didn't come out until after this came out. Oh, shoot, you're this right. This was already out. This was the tutorial map. Yeah. And Ascent was, uh, first map, first map that was added. It's kind of cool. I never realized that until now. I, don't I haven't think, been back in this area. I don't think this is anything, is it? No. Yeah. Maybe no. future. Maybe. Apparently. Cool. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, I mean, any questions, chat, that you guys might have, we can definitely answer. Just, like I said, this is very basic. Just trying to get you into playing the game, you know? Anyone can play this game. You just have to have some understanding, I'd say. So you know, looking cute though. Apparently they just they're, they're more worried about me. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Also, happy birthday, dude. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. I haven't told you yet today, so you know. You did. No, no. No, multiple times. No, it's fine. Like four times, I think. Can you fall slower depending on the character? So yes. Jet is like the main one, I think, because if you hold space, she like floats down. Yeah, that's the only one that has a slower descent. So it's like I can just fall, but. If I hold space, then I slow fall. Which, I mean, um, I guess you could switch to Yoru or uh, Omen for this example, but I you can Yoru. TP, which, I mean, you can yeah. have the same effect. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think you can switch characters here. We were playing with that, and we couldn't figure it out. Uh, You might have to go to, like, the actual yeah. free. Yeah, we, we're going to go back to the range. Hold up. Yeah. We'll go here. We can switch around. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mackenzie. Thank you, CMO Esports. Thank you, Jack. I know Jack is CMO Esports, but thank you guys for the birthday <laughs> wishes. Wait, Jack is CMO Esports? No. I misspoke. Sorry. I meant, I must uh, say he's the whole Esports? <laughs> <laughs> no, my secret identity. I mean. <laughs> so it's not, not like kill. What were you saying with Omen, though? Uh, you could TP instead of, like, falling down, for example, uh, if you were on a higher like, Yeah, space. so, like, can I teleport there? Oh, yeah. that's crazy. I didn't know you could. I mean, that makes sense. There's a part of it. It's a little bit. But, uh, so, if I was going to take fall damage here, which I would, I think, I could just teleport down, which is slow falling. In a way. Quotes. Yeah. Uh, and then what were we saying about Yoru? I've Yoru, played. also the same thing. He has a teleport. What is this? I, I've never played is it him. this? I don't know. Oh, it's a... I've never played him. 
You could probably also hold F1 to read your abilities. Oh, let's see my abilities. All right. All right. Set up, All right. Bye, everybody. Bro, I have no idea how this works. Yo, what? Bro, I've never looked Yoru, at Yoru. Yoru, so lit. Dude, Astra, though, kind of fun. Astra's, I haven't played Astra's her yet, like actually, but... Too big brain. My brain's not big it's enough for Astra. It's very cool to just come in and be like, all right, I want that, So that, Okay, so you that. notice how when you're placing it, it doesn't have a circle? That means you're putting it on the roof of that building. So, like, go in the big shooting house. Mm -hmm. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, so you can see, like... That one landed on the ground, but some of those landed up on like. So this one did. Yeah, so you have you have to look for the the icon register when you place it to see if it's high or, or place it low. That's interesting. You ever bad character? You mean bad agent? And, a, these and also agents? no, he's not. Look at all my smokes, bro. No one's gonna be able to see anything now. You know you can fake smoke with uh. So all right, realistically. You guys should be ready to play. It's first. I mean, yeah. It's first thirteen. So the thing is, something to note is you're only gonna have a limited selection whenever you uh, go in to play the campus clutch, unless you play a bunch before. So let me show you who I have because it's pretty close to who you're gonna have. Um, I have breach unlocked. I believe breach is not like unlocked at the beginning. So you get um, like a couple characters. Yeah. And then, like, if you play, like, three games, you'll get, like, two or three unlocks, and then everybody else you have to grind for. Is that how it works? Um, so just be smart about who you decide yeah. to unlock to so make Silva sure So Silva is one of the base team. ones. Phoenix is as well. Sage is. Jet is, I yep. believe. Yep. It's I know those for sure. Brim, Jet, Phoenix, Sage, Sova. It's one of each each category. Okay. So, so Sentinel, yeah. Duelist, Initiator, uh, Controller, and it end. So realistically, those are going to be the big things you want to look for. Yep. Um, and I mean, at the end of the day, just get in and play. That's the easiest way to yeah, learn. Yeah, I mean, definitely just hop in. So like Spike and there's a lot of yeah, it's there's quick. a lot of really fun, um, lightweight game modes fun. that can Escalation, get you ready for it. I think it's, it's pretty fun. fun. It's fun. I think it's pretty fun. Uh, it might not help you that much with learning abilities because there are no abilities. However, yeah, it's yeah. good for game like learning for the sure, uh, for sure. maps and guns and stuff. So. Get your friends, get a couple buddies. You don't have to be good. We're not expecting anybody to go sicko mode. I think I think it's just gonna be fun to get a bunch of like goofball teams kind of thing and just like you know fart around and, and try and play a game that you've never 100%. played before. Like 100%. I think that's gonna be pretty fun. Um, I agree. And so it's definitely not gonna be a sweaty tournament by any means of the word. Um, so definitely sign up for that. Get some free Red Bull. Get some prizes in there. Um, there will be prizes yes, based on things that aren't just like you don't do cracked at the game essentially. Yeah, yeah, you could win prizes for like not being cracked basically. Yeah. So definitely Easy. be looking out for that. Um, yeah, do we need to set up the rest of the cameras? Are you good on all of those? They should be set up. Pog. Worst um, team. Do you prize. have a screen of all of their cameras at the same time? No, I can get that though. That would be nice. Cool. I think that'd be nice. Oh, I'm gonna set that up apparently. You are gonna do two that. minutes before stream, but. That's gonna be it for the learn to play guys. Thank you so much for watching it. We uh, will be literally just just stay here. Just don't sit. even just, just, sit. just don't leave. <laughs> don't even go anywhere. If you leave, you're fake. Honestly, said yeah, it. I, I, said I it. pretty much agree with that. All uh, right, chat. We will be back in three minutes. We're gonna go turn on the delay for us. Yes. So and then, please don't go anywhere or I cry. It's Zach's yes. birthday. If you go somewhere, that's messed good. up. That's like driving to Zach's house on his birthday party and then leaving. Buying halfway. him a gift on his birthday on his birthday party and then leaving. It's messed cake. up. That's messed up. Messed up. Easy Have you even had up. cake yet? How dare you? True. So, Y'all should right. center the camera. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Peace.